Hi everyone, so today is going to be a makeup tutorial on this lip. I wanted to do something quite wearable but with a pop of colour and I am addicted to this aqua eyeshadow. So to start it off I'm going in with a transition shade and this is Birkin by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just going in windswiper motions and circular motions just to really blend it out completely so there's no harsh edges or anything. Then I'm going in with Fudge, also by Anastasia, and I'm focusing that mainly on the outer lid. And once I've got the majority of the product on my outer lid, I'm going to be then blending the rest of the shadow into the crease. And then once I'm happy with how much product is on my eye, I'm going to be blending it again with my Sigma E40, just to ensure that there's no harsh lines again. So there's a lot of blending in this look, by the way. And then also by Anastasia, this is Smoke, and again, just like Fudge, focusing it on the outer lid. And once I've got a certain amount of shadow in on my outer lid, I'm going to be blending it again into my crease. And then for the star of the show, I'm using this Aqua shade by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I sprayed my brush with a bit of Fix Plus 2 to get a really intense payoff. And then I'm just going to go in with a clean blend. <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with a clean blending brush, just to make sure that there's no harsh lines from my lid to my crease. And I wanted to make it look a little bit more smoky, so I'm going back in with smoke and just blending that on my outer lid again into the crease. For my wing liner, I'm using Inglot's Gel Liner in number 77. And I don't know if it's just me, but every time I do my eyeliner, I get eyeliner all over my fingers and hands, and it just goes everywhere. I'm then going in with a Makeup Geek Sparkler. It's a stunning mint sparkly pigment. I just love it so much. It definitely adds so much more glam and sparkle to this look. And be aware, you probably will get a lot of fallout with it as well, so probably do your foundation after. <laughs> and for the inner corner, and for the inner corner highlight, I'm using Anastasia's Metal. And then for the lower lash line, I'm just using Birkin as a transition shade. And then I'm using Smoke to really smoke out my lower lash line. And then I'm just adding a few coats of mascara just to prep them for lashes. And I'm using the House of Lashes Iconic Lashes. I also added in a nude eyeliner pencil in my waterline, but you can add a brown or a black if you want it a bit more dramatic, but I just think the nude looks really pretty. For like day wear, it looks really natural, if you can call this a natural look. Um, so that is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, let me know what you thought and make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you would like to see more. Bye.